This video will show you how to manage a data file, setup file, and inspection folder. Let's start by looking at a um, uh, macro level uh, by looking at the inspection folder. If I want to clean up some inspection folder that has been recorded on the ready, I can tap on Open Inspection. And here I have the entire list of uh, inspection folder. Of course, the current folder that I'm, I'm work, working with right now uh, cannot be deleted. But all the other folder, except the default one, can be deleted. Uh, an inspection folder contains your data file, setup file, screen captures, and report. So before deleting an inspection folder, you need to be sure that it's really what you want to do. Uh, Magnify Go will not delete instantly the folder when you press the X uh, button, you will be warned and ask if you really want to permanently delete this folder. So if you say yes, it's not going to appear into your inspection uh, folder anymore. So that's uh, a way to manage uh, the inspection level. Now if we want to just uh, manage the setup file, one way to delete setup uh, that are on the system is to hit the open setup. So the open setup window show you the current setup in your folder. Again this one cannot be deleted because it's currently loaded. But if you have several setup in the same inspection you will be able to delete the other one. On the same uh, aspect if you look at setup inside other inspection you cannot delete them also because you, you are not in this uh, inspection. The only setup you can really manage is the one in your master list. Those one you can delete them if you want. You can press cancel if, it's, uh, if, you're, if you're done. The third level of file management is the data file it, itself. So if I open this inspection project, I can see the list of data file that I have in the data file navigator at the bottom of the screen, I can use the arrow to move to the different file inside my folder. If I want to see uh, better the entire list of file, I can always go into the layout menu and decide to display the data tab. This tab appears on the left side of your window and when you press on it, it allows you to see the entire content of your inspection folder. You can see uh, the icon in front of the file name uh, giving you uh, the type of uh, file that you, you see. So when it's in orange like this, with a check mark, it's a data file. The camera symbol is for screen capture. And if you have a message file, it's going to be a different symbol. So anytime you can select one of those files, and hit the X icon at the bottom of the window to delete it. You will be asked to uh, confirm the action. By default, the type that data tab is collapsible. If you want to maintain it on screen, you need to press the little pin icon and it will stay on screen all the time. So data management can be done this way. And at the end, if you want to read your file, you can make a double tap on a specific one and the file will be loaded. Something special that you uh, need to understand also is in the home ribbon, there is a, an option called keep setting here. This option is to allow you to read the data file with the original setup recorded with the data. So when keep setting is uh, checked, you always uh, read the data file with the current setting. If you uncheck the button, the data file will be loaded with your original setup. So this way you can always retrieve the um, uh, initial setup if it's needed. When you do uh, a reading with the uh, original setup, it's always take a bit longer time because the setup has to be reloaded before reading the file. The advantage of using the keep setting is that you can change some uh, parameters in your setup. 
for example, the color palette, and then keep this value for the next file that you read. So if I read this file now, the same color palette is still applicable. If I uncheck keep setting, it's going to use the original palette that was in the file when I recorded it. So that concludes this video on file management.